So welcome again to Preston for the Battle of Middle England tournament for the Great British Hobbit League. I'm now sat here with Ed Balls. That's him. <laughs> and his and he's mounted sorry, his fell beast. Mounted ring wraith list. Mounted ring wraith on fell beast. There you go. So that's the quick way of saying it. There we go. And I can tell that you've said that before. Um, for about five How long have you been bringing six, this kind of list? Um, originally uh, Games Workshop when they were doing the grand tournaments for the Lord of the Rings. So people cool. are whispering in my ear and saying forever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have you ever brought a list other than this? Uh, yeah, originally uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, at Games Workshop they're doing grand tournament systems. A start of the first grand tournament was 2004. Uh, that was at 500 points, and I believe that was at 500 points for three years. Uh, then. 2007 went 600 points. At that time, when it went 600 points, I took uh, three fell beasts and a ring rope on a horse. Uh, you know, so you've been a lot, through a lot with these guys. Four relatives. Uh, and since then, essentially every year, bar I think one doubles tournament, I've taken ring rope on fell beasts. So obviously, the great thing about that is you've obviously developed quite a good relationship with these guys, and you they're, know they're quite, they're quite uh, goodly, and quite entertaining of an evening. Yes, <laughs> good conversationalist. Now, you might be able to see there that Ed's got a very slight sweat on and his hair's in different directions. That's because we've all witnessed the end of a very, very intense game. I won't give you a spoiler because, of course, some of you might be watching this before you see the results of the Great British Hobbit League. What we are going to do is we're going to come and have a look at some of your models. So if you want to introduce them one by one. Well, seeing as we've only got 500 points, uh, we have uh, Felbeast the first with Ring Wraith Bod. Standard Ring Wraith, uh, 110 points, 2 Knight, 14 Will, 2 Fate... Fell Beast, 50 points, 160. We then have what is one of the first Ring Wraith conversions I did, God knows when, far too long ago. Uh, Kamal, an Easterling, it was originally an Easterling Captain Head, hence the little wings. Um, yeah, Kamal, Fell Beast, 270 points. We then move on to um, what is a Dark Marshal conversion. However, it's a Dark Marshal conversion. It's not the Dark Marshal today. He himself is the Knight of Umbar um, okay. on, 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 on Fell Beast. Again. What does the Knight of Umbar do? Knight of Umbar just owns most things, essentially. Uh, as a ring wraith, he is fortuitous in having three might, which avoids the Snake Eyes double fate roll, which is very bad and I have had before. Um, he is able to mirror the basic statistic of his opponents, be that fight value, strength, or attacks. Can he do all of them at once? Uh, all or any of them? He can do all or any, whichever he Fantastic. chooses. Certainly, if he went up against Treebeard, he'd be getting three attacks, strength, fate, fight, uh, I think... So he becomes Treebeard. While looking like a ring race. So, you obviously, this is a, a, a list that's about combinations as well. What kind of, um, what kind of things do you find this list is tough to play against. Um, elves is never good because, uh, particularly, again, at 500 points, you are limited in what you can take as a combination. The nature of the fell beast is that when you get to larger games at four or five, maybe even six fell beasts, you, the, the, the special rules for the named characters do begin to stack quite well. Uh, when you're at 500, you are stuck at three. Um, in this regard, what you do find is that a single one of them is decent on its own. They do help, uh, you know, it's 170 points, it's very much a support character or a standard army. But they can also move through troop types, particularly men, uh, dwarves, things that aren't fight five mm -hmm. or better. Um, certainly the nature why I picked these two named rates as a pursuer, uh, say against uh, the Dark Marshal himself, even though it looks like it, or uh, the Undying. The Knight of Umbar is able to mirror its opponents. As a consequence, he's never any worse off than half uh, a 50-50 roll, which is not great, but at the same time is better than you know being fight five against fight six. Um, and Kamal is probably the most diverse in what he can do um, in relation on Fell Beast. You know, he's able to go to fight six, and that there is is certainly a bonus. Uh, as required. Um, certainly the Dark Marshal isn't included because although as a, a basic he is fight six, he only has 12 will. Um, the Knight of Umbar, when winning a fight, doesn't lose uh, will points. Yep. Uh, so this is a, a significant advantage over and above the Dark Marshal who is limited specifically and only to 12. Uh, 12 rounds of combat and the Dark Marshal is dead. I've got a little bit of a loaded question for you. How does an all-mounted Rohan list <laughs> compete against something like this? Um, 
it depends upon. Uh, I love it that you're answering this question. How does an all-mounted execution? Row it's all about execution, anyway. An all-mounted row <laughs> analyst would have to require precision, uh, precise execution. Finesse is the Finesse word you are looking and, for. And, 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 um, of which I have very little <laughs> today. <laughs> it's all been kind of like smash. <laughs> uh, certainly, I do believe you are yourself taking uh, Sons of Ale. Oh, yeah, Ale. Ale, yeah. Earl, my name is. Yep. Um, and they themselves have uh, pure blood steeds and as such move 12 inches. Makes it very interesting. Certainly my ability to fly and yours to just run around and go and look at a wall would be used in my favour. Certainly, if that was able to be the case. Um, it's all about priority. Naturally, that being said, the negative courage modifier that the ring race do sort of mooch around with helps, uh, especially against men. Uh, against Arnor, I was fortunate earlier, previously, to... Um, well, effective courage one isn't very good. And as such, when they get to courage, they do uh, flee. Similarly with... Uh, especially now, given the Hobbit rules, where you get blue on blue, red on red, whatever... Uh, ring race against evil forces or Akai goblins, they're all courage one and two. Get them to half and their courage will do the rest. I've got a good question for you, Ed. You are enjoying this, aren't you? That's Only not because talk. you're sat in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a charmer as well. And I'm not too sure that even after he's told me uh, maybe some ways that I need to try and counteract this, that I would still look forward to facing it. But this is Ed's Fell Beast 500 point army. I'm sure we're going to see him at lots and lots of tournaments at the Great British Hobbit League. So keep an eye out and happy wargaming, guys.